Good morning, Indonesia! What a wonderful day on Friday the 9th of October 2020. In the next 5 minutes, I am Monica Dita Michelia, will bring you to the latest headlines in great news. How is your day? Make sure your health stays intact during this ongoing pandemic. This pandemic hits Indonesia's economy. For the most part, are forcibly displaced economic activities, including international trade. This sub raises negative conflicts that are likely to collapse in economies around the world, including Indonesia. Hundreds of communities fall into the poverty line. The World Bank has projected that economic growth in Indonesia would reach only 2.1%. It's very hard if efforts are made during the pandemic. The current pandemic is spreading across the world and it is within our country's reach of the corona pandemic causing significant changes. Changes occur in various sectors but from economic chains, the changes in human behavior. What is very evident is that economic shift can be seen that the whole world is having problems in the economy. According to ADB's flagship annual economic publication, Asian Development Outlook or ADO 2020, the COVID-19 pandemic, along with lower commodity prices and volatile financial markets, will have severe implications for the global economy and Indonesia this year, with the country's key trading partners expecting negative impacts on their economies. Domestic demand is expected to weaken as business and consumer sentiment wanes. As the global economy recovers next year, Indonesia's growth is expected to gain momentum with recently introduced investment reforms providing additional impetus. It's been six months, our economy decreasing since March 2020. The Statistical Center Agency Indonesia has described that the number of the poor is over 1.63 million compared to September last year. Furthermore, around 3 million people were dismissed because of this conflict. If this is still running in the long run, it's possible that the entire world community will have an economic crisis. In the third quarter, Indonesia's economy was expected to be able to make a run for it. Its initial drop to minus slowly returned to zero and from zero increases to a positive. Our President Joko Widodo he told the ministers to keep going on the economy in Indonesia. The Minister of Economy, Arlangga Hartarto, has described that will put pressure on the economy both from the order and supply. In the education sector, parents of students also have become increasingly burdened by having to buy internet credit for school or college needs online. The Minister of Education gives freedom for BUS funds that have been dispersed, which can be spent according to the needs of schools and students. If currently what is needed most is credit, then the minister allows this matter. Apart from that, the government is also still giving additional quota limits to students to help them feel better. The emergence of this conflict should not demoralize the individual. The government will follow up on the current crisis. We all need to change our lifestyle, maintain our health and our mental health. By following government warning, we wear masks, wash our hands, and keep our social distance. Well, viewers, that was the news. If you have some suggestions and recommendations, please visit us in www.creatiostv.com for the next updated news and keep your spirits up. I'm Monica Edita Michelia, and thank you for your attention. See you next time. Bye.